Good evening ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Experience Point and here we are back with another Black Turn Operation Barbarossa. We are continuing in the uh, northern branch of the campaign as Army Group North continues, well, <laughs> northeast. So we're going to do the Lugag to Leningrad. We're going to say the lunge to Leningrad. Either way, we're going to Leningrad. So you just get there. And as we do, we're just going to very quickly have a look at the map. Uh, you see that you have your supply. Now you have a 12, a 6, and a 6. You do get the, um, the special ability to extend one of your supply ranges um, at the supply source. And I did that all of them. Well, I did all of my powers on this one here. The reason I did it here is because of your objectives. Now you notice you got to get a five, two sixes, and a seven. Now over here, you need to get this by turn six. If you count this out from here, you have a three, two, one over here. If you go from this way, um, considering that you have a, a two, you lose two points every turn. That's a seven, five, uh, it's a three, one. Which means you're going to be in range to attack this and not have to worry about that. Or you can say 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you're going to be supplied up along here and up to here. Over here, on the other hand, getting this objective, um, that's a 1. If you keep extending that another 6 turns, you'll notice that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you're right there. So that's why I did that. Oh, let's get to it. Um, I divert this army unit, um, this SS motorized, uh, and the infantry up towards this objective. This unit's only goal is to capture up here in the initial turns, which means I want to force my way through um, these infantry units to clean them up. Over here, I use my uh, pioneer ability to de entrench him, and then strong units uh, where I can to try to get across and then make that initial um, breach in their lines. Then uh, making sure I can get my armor up, cover up this point here because you don't want them cutting off supply by coming across the river here. Okay, over here, again, use your pioneers to cross the river. And then I'm using my um, special step that isn't purely uh, more of a defensive. So that's a four and eight, that's an eight and eight. So I'm using this guy over here because he can punch through. Uh, I bring this guy down here. So I can move him up though, they will come across here. And again, it's the same principle here. Use your pioneers to remove entrenchment and uh, try to just progress your way up. I do want to make a breach here, which was the goal. Um, you do have a power to make a bridge. Uh, and I thought this might be a success to try to put a bit of stress over here to divert some troops off. Okay, so these guys are potentially out of supply, out of supply, sorry. Uh, as you see, they're sort of rearranging. Now this is going to jump all over the place. Um, the computer perhaps does things in uh, maybe by unit numbers. Uh, not particularly sure, but as you can see, they're crossing the river. They've crossed here. Uh, they are trying to create a defensive line in the forest there, and the forest gives them a bonus. So what do we want to do here? Well. Mostly we want to progress up. We also do need to keep our line secure, so we need to make sure that uh, this supply to the, uh, this supply source here is going to be safe. So we are having to divert a unit here, just for the purpose of uh, making sure this guy can't sort of sneak off down here. Fortunately here, the only way I could get across with the unit was uh, weaving this gap open. This is a shame. Um, for that, over here we use the infantry to try to negate the zone of control. As you see, which um, hopefully give my unit a straight run at the objective. Now the enemy is supplied uh, on the road at several points, so you can't starve them out. But you can certainly um, make it a head road for this objective quite soon. Which is a 6 and you can take it by turn 3, as you can see. Okay, we're just um, trying to clean up here. We don't want them to cross the river. And we do want to keep progressing up here. Using our armor where we can, and as you can see, I can convert, uh, divert that armor off. He still has a movement point, and I was able to destroy him to move the other unit up again. So we're making a uh, progressive step forward. Okay, that was a bit of a mistake. Um, the mouse clicking, unfortunately. I 
up in there. Sorry, we made another bridge just so we can make sure supply is all good. Uh, just in case they wanted to come across. But beyond that, I didn't believe I could make a bridge over here, which is why I didn't. Okay, so down here you can see that they have tried to cut me off, but we should get rid of him in the next turn. You have uh, quite strong units and quite good specialist steps. Over here, we just want to clean up this where we can, and then reconnect our guy to supply. And I uh, didn't push him forward because I didn't want to lose him uh, with his supply source. As you can see, um, he still supplied, so there is no problem. Uh, even if he took that to six, yeah, at tier, uh, he still would be supplied. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. So, I do want to progress him because then he'll lose his attack turn, which would be useless. And we are uh, keeping the supply over, uh, secure. We're able just to extend our source here. Progress forward. Okay, over here we are able to take this objective. It's quite nice. That infantry will be able to hold that. As we uh, get rid of this threat here in, that's in the, uh, the rear flank. Um, this guy wasn't attackable because his defenses were too high, even with all his uh, force suppression. Using our airstrikes just to try to clear the path so we can have a straight shot to the next objective. And clearing out the most dangerous uh, flank. If I have that free shot on, the, uh, on a better supplied unit, I'm going to take it, as opposed to destroying a weak one. Okay. A nice overrun. We should be able to do significant damage to him. Yep, we killed him off. Uh, just what other point I'd like to make is um, to this guy will be out of supply if he doesn't retreat back next turn. So there is a reason sometimes where you don't want to just throw him up. Even if I cut this supply off, there's still supplied here. So I can't do anything really effective uh, in that regard. Over here. Also, take note that if you aren't careful, sometimes these units can sneak down here, try to capture the supply. But if this road is uh, secure, then you got no real issue. So the enemy retreats again before my mighty forces, <laughs> and it should be no problem to uh, smash the next objective. This guy's trying to retreat, trying to resupply himself, but we're not going to let him. We are going to uh, make sure he's no problem there, and then the next turn hopefully capture the city. I'm not worried about them taking this objective, they're too far off uh, to be able to do that. Okay, we just trying to again progress forward. Okay, down here, continuing that progression, I'm not so worried now, um, they can be cut off but they'll still have their supply uh, to attack next turn. And I'm making significant grounds in the south. So we can always keep moving forward, which is what we want. And I have, uh, there we go, a straight shot to their objective, and I can de-entrench them next turn. Okay, we're uh, suppressing the target, which had a successful destroy. Uh, he held up for one turn, but we're going to definitely remove him in the next. And then begin our assault to the next one. Uh, here, I do just want to clean out these guys so that I can uh, sort of make my way up this way. I'm not overly worried about these guys. They will more than likely just retreat back. And if they attempt to cut off supply, I can um, combat them next turn. So what do we have? Guys trying to again fall back and create another defensive line. But there's really nothing to worry about. Okay. Uh, now we just want to go for the objective. Weaken it up. The entrench them. We breached them. We didn't destroy them unfortunately, but it looks like uh, we have now and we've captured the objective. Now we just want to reconnect with our troops in the uh, 
southwest here. I'm going to reform that line of supply. I only have one more objective and that has to be taken turn 7, so I do need to make sure I have some sort of supply and can uh, reinforce that objective. Okay, I did push this guy out of supply, but he should definitely be resupplied uh, in the next turn as I reconnect the resources up. I've kept this unit here just for safety, but there we go, so we are going to uh, strafe him down into the uh, southeast there. We get rid of these little pesky units. And we make our way to the last unit. Now these guys are all supplied, so I'm not worried about them being cut off. Um, it shouldn't really be an issue. And there we go. Wow, turn five. Sorry, two turns ahead of brilliant victory. Okay, sometimes I forgot uh, I forget how I did this and uh there we go, so sometimes you can take the chance and you can get the win. And we still had two more units that could move and one with con quite considerable range. One, two, uh, let's see, three, four, five. So yeah, definitely going to grab that next turn either way. And we had no real problems there. Uh, everything was quite hunky-dory and we were able to supply next turn. Now I imagine this unit here would have tried to cut off probably here, which still wouldn't have made much of a difference. Uh, but that's how it's done. So, uh, just to go from the start here, use this unit to uh, and these infantry to come up here. Take this. Uh, just then by filling out the best tactics, de-entrench this guy. If you can move him, great. Otherwise, just keep progressing with strong units up here, up this line, until you can sort of um, take this area here and then just make your way across here. Even if you're out of supply, that's fine. You, but you do want to keep reinforcing here. So if you are cut off, you're okay, but make sure at the initial turn to keep uh, this unit here um, covered so the enemy doesn't progress over. Over here, just want to keep uh, de-entrenching and then using the best units like this one with an 8 attack as opposed to this which is a 4 to cross the river and make your way up. But then you really want to progress uh, with these units to destroy here and then make your way up. Um, and that's how it's done. So I hope you've gained some experience from watching this video and uh, have a good one.